their home, so they would carry you know, their lunch and their water. And so the people in the village, because they were so poor, you know, they would just order these children around, come here, bring this, do this, do that, if you see that video. But yet, you know, when it was that break for lunch, Maria Goretti would go to those very people who would you know, have been shouting at her. You can imagine if we went somewhere and you know, say you were shouting at me, go to hell, she doesn't have water, very good. Let her be without water. That would have been our attitude. But Maria Goretti went to each and every person, no matter what they did or what they said to her. And also that boy who was trying to, you know, rape her. Once he just told her, she asked him, why are you behaving? He's saying, because no one understands me. So she kept that thing in her mind, like, you know, no one understands me. And just before she could receive Holy Communion, she went to her entire community and went to everyone and said, Auntie, please forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. She went and asked forgiveness of everybody. And finally that boy was sitting over there. She said, please forgive me for not understanding me. You know, this boy who was making her sin, she even went to him and asked forgiveness. And that is why they have reached that height of holiness. You see Dominic Savio, he wanted to be so pure in his thoughts, in whatever he saw. He would not look at anything that was evil. When his friends got hold of, you know, some adult magazine, they would say, come here, Dominic, Dominic, come here, look at it. And he would not know what they were looking at. He would go and he would see what kind and he would just walk away and say, no, I want to keep my eyes holy and clean. And so this is what we are called to imitate saints. So we need to read of the life of saints, how I can grow in holiness. They have also been human beings just like you and me. And if they could reach sainthood, you and I also can reach. You don't want to say it also? Go holiness. Hallelujah. And you know this very Pope John 23rd, he was invited one day to dinner. And the one who was hosting the party said, you know, I just keep one lady who is very scantily clad next to the Pope and let's see what he does or says. And so all through the meal the Pope was, you know, having his meal and maybe just conversing with his woman. And so after dinner the fruit was passed around and uh, she didn't want to take any fruit. And he took her an apple and said, will you please have this? She said, no, your highness, you know, I don't want to have this. She said, no, please have it. But she asked him, why are you forcing me to have it? See, because, you know, Eve, after she took the apple, she realized how naked she was. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, you know, you don't think that, you know, the popes and all, they're just living that life where, you know, they're not you know, exposed to the world. It's easy for them to be holy. It's not easy for anybody. We are all living in that same state. But we are called to live differently, to be set apart. And God has also given us this armor. That we need to clothe ourselves with the armor of God so that no darts of the evil one can overtake my life. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, and finally putting on those shoes short to the gospel of peace. Peace. Make every effort to live at peace with everybody. For without holiness, no one will. Hebrews 12, 14. So let's remember to strive to holiness. And the word of God, Alex, and the word of God tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, 24, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. And the Lord who has begun this work in you and me, will he be faithful to complete it? Amen. Because the word of God says is, I am not saying it. And the word of God is true. And so Jesus will welcome us that day when we are going to meet him in paradise. Come you, my beloved. That we lived the way he called us to live. And he says, welcome into that kingdom of God.
and we will all be saints, you and me. Praise the Lord. So let's make this our prayer this morning. We ask the Lord to continue to purify us. Although we have gone through the sacrament of reconciliation, we need this grace at every moment because we don't know when we can slip. Do we know? So let's ask the Lord to purify our hearts so that we may come forth as pure gold. This is the definer, purifies gold, removes all the dross and what comes forth is pure gold. Tell the Lord, continue to remove all that dross in my life. Help me not to fall into temptation.